Hello and welcome to my fresh new SQL Server Quickie. In today's SQL Server Quickie, I want to talk about the Puffer Pool, the main memory cache used by SQL Server to store pages retrieved from our storage. Every time you execute a query in SQL Server, the operators of the underlying execution plan of that query are interacting with the so called Puffer Manager. The Buffer Manager supervises the Puffer Pool and just hands out pages that were requested from the operators in the execution plan. The more data you can cache in the Buffer Pool of SQL Server, the faster your queries will be. Let's switch now over to the flip chart where I will describe to you how the Buffer, ma buffer Pool is managed by SQL Server. As you can see here on the drawing that I have already prepared for you, the buffer pool in SQL Server just caches pages of 8 kilobytes. Means every time when we are requesting a page from SQL Server, SQL Server goes to the buffer pool and the buffer pool just checks if that specific page is in memory or if the page is not in memory. Imagine now we are running a simple select star query, so our operator in the execution plan requests some pages from the buffer pool. When that page is part of the buffer pool, that page is just returned back to the query and that's a so-called logical read in SQL Server. Of course, when that page is currently not cached in the buffer pool, then the buffer pool has to go to our storage for an asynchronous I.O. operation within the Windows OS and we are reading that page from the storage into the buffer pool and that red page is afterwards again returned back to the query and that's here a so-called physical read in SQL Server. To give you an indication about the difference between a logical and a physical read, logical reads, here we are reading directly from main memory, so we have latency times of nanoseconds. It's the same when I'm snipping now and every second, very, very fast. When we are reading from our slow storage, we have latency times of milliseconds means I'm snipping now and afterwards in around 10 days. Just imagine that physical reads, physical I.O. is very very slow compared to logical reads where we're just requesting and returning some data from main memory. Therefore it's always very very important to make sure that your buffer pool in SQL Server is very very large so that you can cache a huge amount of data to overcome those very very expensive physical reads. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio and I will show you how we can analyze the buffer pool usage in SQL Server. In this SQL Server Quickie demo, I want to demonstrate you how you can analyze the buffer pool usage through the dynamic management view SysTM OS buffer descriptors. Before we go down to the details of this DMV, I want to load some data from the storage into the buffer pool. In the first step, I enable the session option statistics IO. With this session option, SQL Server will tell you for every query how many logical and how many physical reads the query needed for its execution. The goal of any performance tuning is to execute a query with the least amount of logical reads. The less data you read, the faster your query will be. In the next step, I'm switching into the Condoser Retail DW database where I execute a simple aggregation query. I just want to know how many records we have in the table Fact Online Sales. This table consists of more than 12 million records. When you look at the execution plan, you can see that SQL Server just scanned the complete clustered index in the leaf level. 
when you look at the messages window, you can see now that Statistics I.O. tells you how many logical and how many physical reads you had for this query. In our case, we had more than 44,000 logical reads of 8 kilobytes. In total, we read around 345 megabytes from the buffer pool to retrieve the row count of this table. At this point, we have read some data into the buffer pool, so let's analyze it now. When you do a simple select star query against the dynamic management view, system OS buffer descriptors, SQL Server returns you one record for every cached page in the buffer pool. Be aware of that, because when you run this query on a system with a large amount of RAM, it may take some time. In our case, we have a little bit more than 50,000 pages currently cached in the buffer pool. When you do the math, you can see that we have around 400 megabytes of cached pages in the buffer pool. Imagine now that you have no idea about the workload that was executed on this SQL Server and you want to know which database wastes the largest amount of memory in the buffer pool. Therefore, the next query just makes a simple group by aggregation on the database level and tells you how much space every database consumes in the buffer pool. Surprisingly, our number one database is Condoso Retail DW. Okay, now we know that the database Condoso Retail DW takes the largest amount of memory in the buffer pool. Therefore, we want to know now which table in that database needs the largest amount of space. When you know the table, you can finally check your indexing strategy on this specific table. When you just restrict on the database Condoso Retail DW, you can see that the output of the TMV also returns you the ID of the allocation unit to which the cached page belongs. If you are familiar with the metadata system of SQL Server, you know that an allocation unit belongs to a partition and that a partition always belongs to a table. Therefore, the next query just joins from the DMV SysTMOS buffer descriptors to sys allocation units to sys partitions and finally to sys tables to find out which table inside the Condoso Retail DW database needs how much space in the buffer pool. In our case, you can see again that the table fact online sales caches around 350 megabytes of data in the buffer pool. The same amount of memory that Statistics I.O. reported back to us. If you are dealing here with a partition table, it is also very easy to return a detailed breakdown of the memory usage at the partition level. Easy, isn't it? In today's SQL Server Quickie, I have talked about the buffer pool in SQL Server. The buffer pool is the main memory cache where SQL Server stores retrieved pages from our storage. As you have also seen in the demo, it is very easy to analyze the buffer pool with the dynamic management view system OS buffer descriptors. Every record that is returned from this TMV is one page that is currently cached in the buffer pool. When I perform SQL Server health checks, I always want to have a more detailed look into that TMV to get a better understanding which database is using how much space in the buffer pool. Or to say it in other words, I want to know which database is wasting how much physical memory. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to welcome you again next month. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.